Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be looking at some petty TikToks. I was working for a company where you weren't allowed to date within. Me and this guy that was a manager of one of the other departments started hanging out. We weren't dating, but we did go to the movies together. As we're leaving, we see one of the managers from another department. We're pretty sure she saw us. Days later, I go into work and I get called in the office and they let me know that the guy I went with was fired because he was a manager and he should have known better, but they let me keep my job. Regardless of the fact that there was no hugging, kissing, holding hands, nothing. All we said was that we went to the movies. Didn't matter. She apparently had a better story. Wait, so they went to the movies together and the guy got fired. I cannot deal with that. Like, absolutely not. I can kind of understand how, like, colleagues and whatever not allowed to, like, date each other. Like, that's kind of understandable. Is it like that in school? Like, are teachers allowed to date each other? One of my biggest fears growing up was that my parents would be a teacher, which they weren't. I imagine your mum is literally your teacher. That would be awful. A month later, I'm working late one night and she comes strolling in with a bunch of her friends and guess what? She's drunk. It's a little bit chilly outside this night, so she decided so she wants to buy a sweatshirt for my department. So I'm ringing her up and I tell her the total and she's like, oh, do me a favor, put in my code, I'll get a discount. Clearly she's drunk because she gave me her manager's code. So I rolled up into security the next morning and let them pull my drawer to see what code was put in and let them know what happened. Oh my God, did she get fired in the end? I mean, I'm not gonna lie, that's karma. Also, I'm really stupid by the way, guys. So I'm probably not gonna understand what a lot of this means. Whenever I watch these TikToks, it takes a lot of power and energy to understand it. So I'm a 21 year old female, correct? I live with two dudes. One of them just turned 23 this month. Happy birthday. And the other one is 35. I mean, that's a big difference. You're living with somebody who's in their early 20s and somebody who's getting close to 40. Do they like live in an apartment together and they just rent out rooms? You might think it's weird, but not. We're coworkers and really good friends, so it's cool. We were really good friends. So he got this girlfriend, right? And I was the one that helped him get her because like her and I were friends first. Well, they get together and I realize that she is clinically insane. Oh no, I feel her struggle. Whenever you see one of your friends going out with somebody who just isn't right, it's like the worst feeling ever. Also, she set them up together. A lot of times I can look at a couple and tell if they're gonna last or not. Fun fact, the person you're dating now probably will not be the person you marry in the future, especially if you're like young. Like it is quite crazy how people genuinely think they're gonna marry their first love. So they finally break up. I'm really happy. And then they get back together after a week. I told him, I don't want her in the house. She said she had people watching our house while y'all were split. I don't feel safe. So what does he do? He continuously brings her to our house. So what does my petty self do? The queen of pettiness? Well, my name's on the internet. I'm the one with full access. So what do I do? I disconnect her. And the other roommate who's 23 lives for the pettiness. So I'm just like, f with me. If you if you bring her over, she won't be able to do shit. Internet gone. I mean, that's probably one of the worst things you could ever do. I am so scared to ask people for like the Wi-Fi password whenever I go to their house. I just use my 4G. Like, I think it's really scary. On iPhones, you're able to share it somehow. So like, if they do that, then I'm fine with that. Like, I feel bad for asking. The most petty thing you've taken from your ex after y'all break up. <laughs> oh God, she's doing an no evil regrets. laugh. Um... <laughs> I took the labels off of the canned goods and then I mixed them up so that when she opened them, she had no idea what she was getting. Right, so imagine you're going in somewhere to get food, like I don't know, canned beans or like canned pineapple. This woman right here is literally like switched the labels around. So somebody who thinks they're having beans are actually going to be getting like pineapple. I mean, that's very smart. Also, I swear whenever you open a can, you can't really use it that much after you open it unless you like seal it off. So do you want to know something? That's quite smart. I'm watching all of these TikToks and I'm thinking in the back of my head, this would be really good karma if someone ever like screws me over. And then I took all of her spoons. Because... All she ate was like cereal and ice cream. I took all of her spoons. Right, so the spoons have gone missing as well. You can't really do much, can you? I mean, I've just realized how much I actually use cutlery. Think of it, if you don't have knives, forks, spoons, like you literally cannot eat food unless you eat it with your hands. This video has really woken me up. Like, I don't know why, but I just realized a lot of things after watching this. The everyday essentials that we have and never really care about are actually quite essential. And her shoelaces. <laughs> oh, there go the shoelaces. If you're saying this, I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not really that sorry. I mean, I don't know why they broke up or why they're not like communicating. Obviously something happened. But imagine taking her shoelaces. Whenever I was younger, never fear of mine was that like I'd be wearing shoes and like the shoelace would snap. You never really think about buying shoelaces, do you? But if you don't have shoelaces for the shoe and this are like Velcro shoes or like high heels, it's going to be like putting cardboard in your feet. Like the shoes are going to be completely useless. These people are evil and I love it. Give me all your tips on how to make someone's life just like annoyingly miserable. I use this all the time, but warning, only use it on people that really, really, really 
really fucking deserve it. Okay, so only do this if it's serious. Don't do this in like a friendly fall night with for like a day. So all you're gonna have to do is go to STD Anonymous or Anonymous STD. I can't remember which order. I honestly just Googled it and you see this column right here. You just simply plug in the phone number or email of the disrespectful and it will anonymously send them this message. Okay, so I thought about doing that before. I don't think there's a UK website for that. I'm pretty sure it's American. I would love to do that as like a prank. Like imagine if I do that. Would that like really mess somebody up? Like imagine they think they've got STDs. That would be like the worst thing ever. Oh my God. Like that's funny, but that's also evil. But then if they do you wrong, you might as well do them evil. But then if they go and get a test and it comes back negative, they're going to be thinking, where did this come from? I mean, either way guys, always take tests, always wear protection, protect yourself. So in conclusion, they will sh bricks. They will wonder who sent this. Why do I have it they'll probably go get tested but please only use it on the people that really really deserve it just don't don't use it for pranks this isn't a prank this is like to truly make someone stay bad <laughs> okay maybe don't use it for a prank as i said i'm terrified of needles so me getting a test full salt would genuinely like kill me i couldn't do it like i genuinely couldn't it's something about needles and blood i don't like it. i'm very squeamish but i mean if you've got like a boyfriend or a girlfriend or like a relationship partner and then like your best friend sleeps with them and they like cheating you you might as well do that like it's karma I think it's fair. I am one petty MFIDC. What anyone says. Snip, snip. Wait, what are they Time doing? Snip. Yeah, almost there. Gotta take the card up. Is this like the fence with all the here? love things? Search oh, time. Mm -hmm. Where TF is this B? F yeah. I mean, they probably forgot about that, but that is petty. Imagine all the other couples are sitting there watching her. They're like, oh my God, imagine if that's going to be me one day. I've never been in a relationship. But I don't think I do that. What is that? Is that like a wall or like a fence that like you and your significant other, but like, I don't know, a lock on. Imagine the amount of couples that have broken up and forgotten that like they're locked onto that fence. Imagine you like divorce your wife and 40 years later, you go there and you see your wee lock. If I were them, I'd just cut it off and throw it in a river. How this girl going to message me on Facebook talking about I'm ugly, I post too much and I'm just looking for attention. Okay then, so I did some research, found out that you work at a cute little spa about an hour away from me. Needless to say, you're gonna be waxing my butthole on Monday. You can't fuck with my level of petty ho. Oh my god, imagine you have a go at somebody on Facebook and they come in and you have to wax their private parts. We also talk about how people literally get their body parts waxed. Am I the only person who can open their legs to somebody? Like, I could not do that. Especially because they might know me. Like, imagine they spread a rumor that I've got, like, a really hairy bum. Fun fact, I don't. Like, that's awful. I'm also scared of, like, my butt cheeks sticking together. That just seems like a nightmare about to happen. Anyways, guys, that's the end of the video. That was some petty TikToks. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, press the big red subscribe button. And just, I'll see you all in my next video.